Hello, Dork Squad. I'm Jonathan Cormer, and you're listening to Dork Tales Storytime. Hear ye, hear ye. By the decree of our most noble knights of storytelling, Sir Jonathan Cormer and Sir Reginald T. Hedgehog shall now present a Dork Tales lore story. Huzzah! Uh, ooh, look at this one. Absolutely stunning orange color. Fully intact. <gasps> A treasure. I'll just add this to my basket. Uh, let's see. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, oh, this is a very nice one. Yes, over here. And then let's add it to the pile. Add it to the stock. Here we go. Put it in. Yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, oh, this nice little pile right there. Oh, very good. Oh, Reg, there you are. Oh, hello, Jonathan. I've just been out collecting these maple leaves. One of my favorite fall activities. Right, for the maple leaf metals? Correct. As soon as the leaves fall from the trees, all the folktale forest hedgehogs gather together and collect them off the ground. And then you turn them into metals? Yes, and give them to the trees for their exemplary service to keep their spirits high during the lonely months of winter. Well, what are the awards usually for? Why, for so many things, Jonathan. For providing shade, offering shelter to all forest folk, uh, for producing fresh oxygen. I love it. Ah, <sighs> me too. Well, to be honest, Reg, I came looking for you because I was trying to think of a way to cheer up our friends after all the storms we've had recently. Get everyone together and outside enjoying this brisk fall day. Do you think we could... Give maple leaf medals to our friends, too? Just something special to kick off the season. Hmm. You know, I've never considered that before. Well, hold on. I'm considering... Uh, Reg? Yes, let's do it! But, uh, let's really put on a show. Ooh, a show, huh? Let's razzle-dazzle them. An excellent idea. So, what kind of show will we put on? Hmm. 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 <gasps> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am. A talent show! was wonderful. Let's hear it one more time for Crenshaw the Fox and the Loppy Sisters. What a beautiful ballet number from one of the most graceful trios around. If you're just joining us here in this clearing, might I remind you that this is the Folktale Forest's first annual talent show, Maple Leaf Legends. That's right, folks. We've taken our beloved hedgehog's maple leaf metal tradition, and we're sharing it with the forest trees and forest creatures this year. As such, for our dancers extraordinaire, please accept your Move to the Groove medal. Aw, oh, shucks, thanks. Thank you, kind girl. <laughs> thank you, thank you. That's one of my favorite medals. Mine, too. Let's see. Just a little recap of our evening so far. We've seen Nikolai the Firefly put on a spectacular light show with the Fireflies of the Forest, earning him the Best in Glow medal. Then, Francois the Ferret, lover of classics, recited a Shakespearean monologue. To be or not to be. Absolutely fabulous! His performance earned him the All the World's a Stage medal. Delightful! Now, uh, who is up next? 
Oh, you won't even believe it. Well, who is it, Mr. Reg? He's our wonderful wordsmith, our biography birdie, our potato-loving poet with plumage, Shrimp the Seagull. You got shrimp? We got shrimp. Take it away, friend. <laughs> there once was a seagull so fine who led the best heists of all time. For he thought by the sea, all the french fries are for me. I won't leave a potato behind. So he soared over the ocean blue to fulfill his life's purpose most true, leaving people surprised as he snatched up their fries and took off before they even knew. Oh, bravo, shrimp. What a prodigious poem. So impressive, in fact, that you will be receiving this maple leaf medal, which bestows upon you the title of Folktale Forest Poet Laureate. Aw, shucks. <laughs> Are you ready for our next performance? I was born ready. When we learned about bat expert Merlin Tuttle, we heard how incredible bats are for the world around us. And now we're going to watch their astonishing night flying circus act. Featuring our winged friends, Tabitha Vampiria III and Lugo. Join us in welcoming the amazing Acrobats. <laughs> and loop-de-loops. Yeah, we really caught them on the flip side. What? Oh, oh. <laughs> ah, because they're acrobats. <laughs> you know, they are some of my favorite creatures to hang around with. Oh, oh. <laughs> because they're acrobats. <laughs> but seriously, though, they are the best. And that mind-blowing performance deserves a Maple Leaf Medal. You bet, Mr. Reg. I'm pleased to present the Stars of Stellar Stunts Medal. Oh, thank you, thank you. Such an honor, Johnny. <laughs> well done, Lugo and company. Now, for our final act, we have a very special musical guest. Do we ever? Our beloved branch sisters are off on their Birds of a Feather Sing Together tour, but we have a band here that is just as spectacular. Can you believe it? I can, because it's my band. Featuring Gerald the Rooster on vocals, please welcome the Merry Band of Bremen. I'd cock-a-doodle-doo Anything for you When skies are gray I'll find you skies so blue I'll be the feather in your cap The roof over your roost I'd cock-a-doodle-doo Anything for you Oh, the world can be foul for a hen A doodle-doo But with love all is conquered in the end A doodle-doo I'd cock a doodle-doo Anything for you What a treat! 
we got to hear one of my favorite hits off of Meow, That's What I Call Music. And boy, do I love to sing. Ha! You are spectacular, Gerald, which is why the Band of Bremen has been awarded the Music to My Ears Medal. Oh, thank you for this feather in my cap. What joy, what fun! This show has been so rewarding, but alas, all good things must come to an end. Oh, wait one moment, Jonathan. You haven't received a Maple Leaf Medal. But I didn't perform. Perhaps not, but for so many days of the year, you share exciting stories with all of us in the forest. Thus, a medal is required. Well, I'm honored, Reg. I now present to you... The Author of Imagination Medal. Wow, this is the best. And now we have completed our evening's festivities. Oh, thank you so much, Reg. And thank you to everyone who shared their talents with us. May Maple Leaf legends continue to bloom well into the future. We'll never be in need of acts for this show. You're all chock full of talent. Oh, and uh, everyone, be sure to grab a basket on your way out to collect more maple leaves so we can award the trees come winter. I just love the autumnal time of year. I've fallen for it too, Reg. To unbelievable talent and happy harvests for all. Hello, friend. You've reached Mr. Reg's hotline. What are you curious about today? Oh, 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 Jonathan, Jonathan, come here. You have to see this. What is it, Reg? Is it important? I'm still cleaning up after our spectacular Maple Leaf Legends talent show last night. Yes, it was a razzle-dazzler, wasn't it? Uh, but yes, this is of the utmost and extremely urgent importance. Well, okay, buddy, what is it? Well, I was checking my Mr. Reg hotline correspondence this morning, and we got a message from Kamau. He's nine years old and a huge fan of our podcast. Ah, oh, Kamau, we're so honored. Thank you. He says he listens to our stories almost every night and likes Little Reg Hen and Beanstalk the most. My precious. Ahem, excuse you, good sir. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. My beanstalk ogre just kind of slipped out. <laughs> right. A anywho, that's not all. Oh? Look at this masterpiece he drew. It's a picture of poor little Reg Hen cooking away in the kitchen while the unbelievably unconcerned cow spends time on Zoom with the overly obstinate ostrich and sourly stubborn sheep. Wow, that's brilliant, Kamau. Thank you for sharing your talent with us. Hey, Reg, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think I am. Kamau, you deserve... A Maple Leaf Medal! We award you the Picture Perfect in Every Way Award. Congratulations, Kamau, and thank you for listening to our show. Bravo! Well done! 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 Grown-ups, we invite your kids to draw pictures of the characters in our stories. Send them to us, and we'll share them on our Instagram, at Dorktail Storytime. Listen to the credits, or look in the show notes for ways to contact us. Hey listeners, we're excited to announce that Dorktail Storytime is streaming on Amazon Music. You'll find a direct link in the show notes. Dorktail Storytime Lore Stories are a John and Character production. This story was written by Molly Murphy and performed by Jonathan Cormer. Sound recording and production by Jermaine Hamilton 
at Hamilton Studio Recordings. Reach out to us on Instagram or email us at dorktalestorytime at gmail.com. Find links in the show notes or go to dorktalestorytime.com. Now, go be the hero of your own story, and we'll see you next Once Upon a Time. Thank you.